Okay, this shit, this folder doesn't need to be up. God damn it. Alright, anyways. Um, I was looking on how to rip. Ugh. Ugh, excuse me. It's my neck. I was looking up how to rip samples out of MAME ROMs, and I found this uh, video by Bitburn? Bitburner? the BB logo and it kind of bummed me out because the whole thing was just how to how to record a song that's not ripping I'm a nerd I'm an audio nerd so when someone uses the term rip for record it gets me upset uh, like if you hooked you know a CD player to an audio input and recorded it you're not like yeah I ripped this CD you fucking recorded it so here's how you actually can rip uh, samples out of MAME ROMs. Um, a lot of people in the comments were asking about like how to rip actual instruments, which you can't really do. Um, most of them are data. You know, each time you load up a ROM, it tells you what sound chip it uses. Um, actually, you probably there probably is a way to rip them out, but you have to use uh, you know it's data and it tells a, an instrument what to do. Like, uh, if you rip something out of most games, they use a Yamaha 2151FM synth chip, so you'll need something that understands that. And I don't know how to do that. Anyways, so these are all copies of uh, ROMs, because the, the name doesn't matter anymore. So Undercover Cops is one that I really wanted to get the samples out of. So you unzip it, when you have this list of files. Um, what was really lucky with Undercover Cops is that there's a bin file. Um, if there's a bin file, this is the one you go to automatically. So you open up Audacity. If you don't, if you don't know how to get that or don't have it and you're into audio stuff, you should stop. Uh, you got Google. Anyways, import raw data. Uh, uh, undercover Cops bin. And you get this list, uh, let's see, just import how it is so you can hear how it sounds. That is some bullshit. Alright, uh, import it as unsigned 8-bit, leave everything else the way it is. And you get a bunch of squiggle squeaks, uh, so you change the speed. And I found the best way to get get it where you need it is to just keep dropping it a little bit. Let's see. So those are straight up audio samples. Um, let's see, I think the actual drums and shit are back here. So that's, that's basically, as far as I know, all the samples in the game. A lot of them are vocal or just people getting punched. Uh, there's one up here that I like. It's the female character's name I can't remember because it's different in both versions, American and Japanese. But there's one of her picking up food. There it is. She loves that food. But... Yeah, so there's the samples, you can run through them, uh, you know, edit out the ones you do or don't want. Uh, if you use a DAW, like live, uh, it'd probably be easier just to immediately, I'm going to do this actually over again, um, immediately export what you got, uh, and then just change the, change the tempo in whatever you're using instead of, you know, you keep fucking dropping the the channel or the speed down little by little <sighs> let's 
this and then go here. Boom. My cover, drop it in. Make sure it's not warped. Ugh. So, that might be easier. Um, you might have noticed that some of the samples are either a lot higher or you know faster or slower than others. Um, to save space, uh, a lot of games from all kinds of systems, you use a, you can usually within the game itself send a double or half sound command depending on what it is. Um, so we got that. Now we're gonna look at a game, Alien vs Predator, which I know does not have a bin file. So when you've got something like this, you're basically going to be doing a lot of guesswork. Uh, I figured this one out before. I don't remember which file it is, so we'll just go through this together. First one, probably not 131K. That ain't big enough. Uh, five. Might have been this one. Okay. So you can see that this one automatically says signed 8 bits. Um, that's usually a good sign. So like if you import basically anything else, it'll go to its default setting, which is 16. So if you if you're going through stuff and you're you know you're just guess guess trying it, uh, the best thing to do is just kind of <clears throat> see what it see what it tells you it's going to import at, and if it changes, that's probably it. Okay, here's an interesting one. Here's Airbuster. This one is actually the first one I haven't done beforehand. Uh, these are all bin files, almost. Um, so a good thing to do is to look at the size. Uh, because of, let's see, 26, it's probably one of the first two. Signed 16 bits. That looks like data. I'm going to turn the volume down so you can hear what it sounds like when it's not samples, but it's, it's awful if it's loud. So that's probably not it. I'm just kidding, it totally isn't it. Uh, second one, signed 16. Let's just try it to see. Same thing. Uh, let's go to this last one. Signed 16. More data. And I don't know, maybe this doesn't work with all of them. I've only tried it with like two or three games. Ooh, unsigned. That still isn't it. So that thing I said earlier is bullshit sometimes. Uh, yeah, so we're finding out together this might not work on every game. But it's better than uh, recording a song and calling it a rip. Burn! I'm just kidding. I don't. I don't care that much, but it made me want to figure out how to do this. Uh, but sometimes you can't. I guess it doesn't work on all of them. Some of them use different compression methods to get the samples in. It might be encoded in the data. I don't know. But uh, yeah, there you go. If you want to get some samples out of a game, do that. If you want instruments, you're gonna have to look somewhere else. Uh, that's all data. Most of it's data. You heard there were some instruments. Uh, a lot of these games combine them for like a more fuller sound. Usually drum samples and some kind of FM synth. Uh, and sometimes music samples. But uh, there you go. So go do your thing. I'm going to kiss you on the lips. But only if you're nice.